hello and welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so in this question, they ask us to solve the inequality and express the solution using inequality or interval notation or graph the solution set uh, on the real number line. Okay, so we have a quadratic inequality here. So I'm going to solve it and then show it in several ways. So the first thing I want to do is um, I want to get the zero on one side. So I'm going to subtract x and 3. And then I get this. And then I'm going to use the quadratic formula. a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 3. And I can say that x is going to be negative negative 1, so 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 1 minus 4 times negative 6, right, 2 times negative 3, all over 2 times a, or 4. And that's going to give me basically two results. It's going to give me 1 plus or minus the square root of 25 over 4. So in the first result, it's 1 plus 5 over 4, which is 6 fourths, or 3 halves, or x could be uh, 1 minus 5 over 4, which equals um, negative 4 over 4, which is negative 1. So these are the two x values that would get us a result of 0. But really, we also want to figure out, this is an inequality, and the way I rewrote it is going to help me here. I'm going to use this form. I could use the original form, but I'm going to use this because this is what I'm working with. I want to know what x value is giving me a result bigger than or equal to 0, not just 0. So what I like to do, many strategies here, uh, I'm going to draw a little number line, and I'm going to plot on it negative 1, and I'm going to fill in the circle because uh, we could equal negative 1. It would get 0, and that's acceptable. Remember, it says greater than or equal to 0, and 3 halves. I just want to kind of figure out what happens with x values around those two numbers. So, for example, I, I could plug in 0. That's a number in between these two numbers. So I get 2 times 0 minus 0 minus 3, and that's negative, right? So that's a negative result. Okay, and again, I'm trying to find out what x values can I plug in that gives me a positive result greater than or equal to 0. So if you test one of the numbers between negative 1 and 3 halves, you don't have to test any, any others. There are no other changing points in here. So every number in between these two, if you plug them in, I chose 0, an easy case, and the output was negative. If I chose 0 and got that, it means every number in the integral will behave that way. Then let's plug in a, a nice number over here. Let's plug in negative 2. So 2 times negative 2 squared, well, that's 2 times 4, which is 8, minus negative 2, which is plus 2, which is 10, minus 3, which is 7. So that's a positive. And then over here, we're also going to get a positive. If we plug in a positive 2, we get 2 times 4, which is 8, minus 2, which is 6, minus 3, which is 3. That's also a positive. So really, right here, I'm... Um, I want to pick x values that are equal to negative 1 or smaller because that gives us a positive output. All right, so I can draw a little number line and say, here's, let's say here, here's 0, here's negative 1, this would be positive 1, so 3 halves is, is, one, is 1 and a half, um, so I'll put it up here. So any number 3 halves or larger or negative 1 or lower any x value that we choose in that interval would work. That's one way to write the answer. That's, an, that's a number line. We could also write it in set notation. So square bracket, we include negative 1 all the way down to negative infinity. We don't we put a curve bracket around negative infinity because we can't actually reach it. Or, this is the or symbol, 3 halves to positive infinity. That's another way to write it. Or you could say, all right, well, x is anything that's less than or equal to negative 1, right? Or it's uh, anything bigger than or equal to 3 halves. And I could put the word or there as well. I could put a set notation like this, x such that x is less than or equal to 1, or I should put the word or there. x is greater than or equal to 3 halves. So there's many different ways to write that answer. All right, hope that helps.